We're new to wiring a house, but we go into it with confidence. He said that's a little ambitious. And we quickly realized that we're a little slower than we hoped to be. So taking longer than I thought. Slow or not though, this portion of the build is finally allowing us to see our house as a livable space. This is where our kitchen's gonna be. As always, we're learning as we go. Ryan informed me that I'm fired. And we're figuring out the tricks of the trade. It makes life so much easier. Follow along as we wire our house and prepare for our rough-in inspection. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss a moment of the build. Okay, so I'm up here and I'm installing all of our six can lights that will illuminate the great room. And we're gonna drop those down seven feet from the top of the can. And so I've marked my seven foot mark here. I'm gonna position the can uh, at the top here and I'm gonna do the same thing for all three of them on this side and then I'm gonna move on to the other side and do all those three and then we'll be done. Do you have that, that screwdriver for me? Yeah. Oh my god! Do you think you can reach it from here? I think so. Oh good. Oh you can. I could have gone over. I'm very proud of you, Sarah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I just finished up the south side uh, can lights. So you can kind of check them out over there. They look pretty good. And now doing these three over here. So taking longer than I thought, but at least they're getting done. So you just watched me put in three of the outlet switches that we need to put in. I'm putting in the outlet switches and then the switch plates as well. I'm having to cut through the foam so then they'll be into place. And then the types of switch boxes that we have have screws that will go in and then the flaps will move up. And those will not actually be placed until our shiplap goes above. So if you're wondering why I'm not securing the boxes, that's why. So I'm gonna do this whole space here in this back spot behind me, and this is where our kitchen's gonna be. So I'm gonna take you along for that. All right, last light on this circuit, so I'm gonna get it installed, and then I'll move on to getting some wiring done.
Okay. I'm gonna run the ERV circuit and the uh, I'm gonna run the ERV circuit and the hot water tank circuit. Oh, okay. So we're not doing that. Oh, you already did the kitchen one. Look at that. We just need we just need the reno boxes installed so I can kind of get them all in the spot in the spot in the box. Yeah. Do we need everything stapled before our rough inspection? Yeah. But nothing is connected. It's all just kind of like hanging out in the box like this. I think so. Or they're gonna come and be like, what are you thinking? Here, give me your hand. No. You can grab onto this. No, I know, I know. All right, are you gonna be able to get me out? Yeah, it seems easier to get it out. Don't go too fast. Where'd you go? Let's go up the stairs. Come on, Marty. <laughs> oh my God. Marty. She's like, oh, this is real nice. I, it's not scary up there anymore. There's stairs now. Come on. That's going to be your bedroom when we move in. She's like, I'm kind of old. I think I need the basement. Come on. Let's go. Let, no, this way. Come on, Marty. She's like, oh, God, is this safe? There you go. Oh, this is real nice, guys. <laughs> He's like, oh, I see. Okay, you, you are lying when you said there's like a bedroom up here. We are starting our day off, and our goal today is to be running as much electrical cable as we can from our main switch panel into the various rooms, bathrooms, laundry rooms. So we've kind of set the goal. We did a quick walk through the work site and started going, all right, which rooms need what still? So we still definitely need a little bit of work in every single room. So I think what we're gonna do is just tackle it room by room, make sure we have our home run going where it needs to go, and then that it's traveling through every outlet that it needs to go to for us to get ready for our rough in ex our rough in inspection. So that's our goal today. I told Ryan, let's try to get the whole ground level done today. He said that's a little ambitious, so let's see how far we get. And then hopefully it just pops right out. The first thing we're doing is going through each room and we are putting the holes in place for where we're gonna run our wire down through our crawl space and then through our floor joists below just to get all of the outlets connected to one another. So we're prepping all of those spots and then we'll start running that wire. Now are we like passing wires? Yeah. Are you ready for this? Let's do it. Maybe you'll find Jasper.
I just got done drilling through that last joist. I'm drilling in six inches in from the rim joist, so it gives me a little bit of space to work. And I have to say, I got this uh, these speed bore bits, and before I was using the uh, just a traditional spade bit, and it was taking forever. And these are awesome. I read some reviews, and they said like, oh, eh, this is what the pros use. So if you're DIYing it, you probably can get by with a spade bit. <laughs> Do yourself a favor, spend the $20, get a pack of these if you're running any wiring at all. It makes life so much easier. Okay, there we go. Let's, I need to pull back a little bit. Okay, I'm cutting the wire for it right now. Okay, we just finished the last wire down in Owen's room. I'm gonna go up and we're gonna clear out Lindy's room so we can start doing the same thing in uh, down here for her room, run all the wire all the way around, connect to the switches up above, and then, then we'll move on to the great room, I think. You ready to go eat lunch? Yeah. Oh. I know, you were out there really doing some old dog stuff. All right, we are done with the first bedroom on our lower floor and we just cleaned up the other bedroom a little bit. Ryan and I are definitely running into a struggle of we have so much stuff and it's really important that we keep it all dry and our house is the biggest dry space we have right now. So we go back and forth, I feel like daily Moving stuff. Moving stuff and then saying, we should just build an outbuilding right now. Let's <laughs> pause the build. And then like, let's just put stuff under our house, but then it's really hard to access. So it's very, it's really frustrating and it's just kind of a daily struggle, but it is what it is. We got that stuff moved. We're going to go eat a quick lunch. Then we're going to come back and tackle bedroom number two on the lower floor, which is our daughter's room. So, all right, ready for lunch? Let's recharge. Okay. Should we go finish? Should we go finish our job today? All right, before we start up this room, we have to figure out where we're going to actually put the outlets. We actually haven't even cut the spots in the insulation because the room was so crowded. So we pulled away stuff from the walls, like I had said before, and now we're figuring out where those, are going, there, those outlets are going to go. Um, and then Ryan informed me that I'm fired from cutting the wire because I cut some of them way too long and then I cut some of them way too short. So he said he's gonna start cutting the wire once we figure out where these outlet boxes go and I'll start cutting the holes in the foam. Is that correct? I lost my job as wire cutter? Yeah, you're fired. You know, <laughs> what can I do?
far as we want that one to go. They're all a little short, Ryan. Like they're all like just right. I know, and you were all, I got fired. We just finished up in Lindy's room. Ryan is putting the last nails in on floor joists for those wires. So overall we completed three rooms today because Ryan did get the pantry done as well. So we still have some spots in our kitchen to get done and in our great room. So we'll get to those next. But first we have to go get our kids from school and I don't know if we'll get any more building done today. So that part of the project may just be pushed off to the next time we're in the build. Out from the dungeon. It's always fun down there, huh? Well, I thought we'd get a little more done today. I thought so too. But we got two bedrooms done and the pantry. I was gonna run to the hardware store tomorrow and figure out how many more boxes we need. Yeah. Got. So we should come back and, in after and we And then we should just add that. a few few extras. Too. I know I was thinking that because we can just return them. Alright. I feel like it was still a good work day. Yeah. And we both didn't want to work today. 